Today marks the start of week two of the Reaper's Reward in The Sims 4. If you are participating in this ongoing event for this week, your Sim will need to have level four of the cooking skill, level five of the gardening skill, and maybe level one or two of the fishing skill in order to complete all the activities. Uh, the two activities for this week have two different titles. So one's called Digging Holes and the other is called Friends with Death. These build upon last week's goals. So if you've already played week one, you probably want to play with the same household that you played week one with. So under the task for digging holes activity, it starts off with just buying more seeds and catching three fish. Once you've bought the additional seeds, they're going to want you to plant an apple and a cherry tree. You can buy seeds either using the phone or using the computer and you're getting the starter fruit packet of seeds. And then they want you to fertilize two plants. Now, it doesn't say it has to be fertilizing the two seeds you just planted. It just has to be two plants in general. Under the friends and death activity, you have to befriend Grimm. And then you're going to get another letter from this Ambrosia Secret Society, basically telling you that you can find lily and snapdragon plants in Willow Creek at the Magnolia Park if you're not wanting to buy the seeds yourself. Um, take a cutting of a lily or snapdragon flower, which requires the gardening level five. Cook a meal at cooking skill level four. Complete an aspirational goal, which depends on what aspiration you have for the sim that you're actively playing. And assigning the scary seeker lot challenge, which was unlocked in week one's Reaper's Reward Challenge. The rewards for this week, there's five different items. This includes a level two gardening skill book, another collectible an instant hygiene potion, an instant fun potion, and the Green Lady's Lost Tomb book. Now that one, you have to find it in build buy mode. So after you've unlocked the reward in the UI event, you have to go into build buy mode. You can sort under, you know, event rewards. I'm not actually sure what the book does. I did buy the book and your sim can read it, but it doesn't seem to trigger anything in game. So I'm assuming that's something we'll probably see as an activity in the upcoming weeks of this Reaper's Reward event. If your sim is not the right skill level when you start this week, you can obviously build the skill by having your sim cook, fish, and garden, or read cooking, fishing, and gardening books until they hit the right level so they can complete the activities. I would say this challenge took about 35 minutes in real life gameplay, and I also didn't cheat like sleep or any other you know, moods that they had. Some of my sim had to, of course, sleep, go to work, and do other things. So that took some some time or about two or three sim days in game. But overall, not a long challenge. This week, I felt, went by faster than last week in terms of activities to do. And the rewards were okay. You know, the little pants or whatever that you unlock. I forgot what was one of the items you unlock this week is a pair of jeans. It's just okay, you know, it's free stuff. It's saved to your Sim account this time, not saved in any sort of file in the game. So you can, as long as you can log in, you can keep this even if you move to another computer. But let me know in the comments below, are you doing week two? Do you think week two was more or less the same as week one? And what do you think the challenge will be for week three?